Welcome to this week's edition of Business Plus PNG. I'll get to this week's uh, program. Uh, three interesting segments for you. Uh, the first one with uh, Roy Trevetti, the country coordinator for United Nations, and that's fresh from a challenge, I guess, that he issued once before to Papua New Guinea on the Millennium Development Goals and now the new Sustainable Development Goals. We didn't do too well on the MDGs and uh, his challenges. Let's see if business can do a bit more on the SDGs. Let's uh, hear the interview with Roy Trevetti. With me in the studio, uh, speaking about uh, things that we did achieve and things that we hope to achieve, Millennium Development Goals, uh, Roy Trevetti, the uh, country coordinator for the United Nations. Roy, welcome to the studio and uh, thank you for speaking with Business Plus. Great pleasure to be here, David. Let's depress ourselves a little bit first. Millennium Development Goals in 2015, PNG didn't achieve any of them. Papua New Guinea didn't achieve any of the Millennium Development Goals. But that's not to say that there was no progress. Okay. In fact, on a number of different goals, there has been progress. So if we take, for example, the education goal, mm -hmm. okay, we, the free tuition yes. policy has resulted in many more children going to school. Of course, we need to continue to improve the quality of education and so on. I, I'm looking at the Millennium Development Goal report here. Yeah. So P&G did present this to United Nations. Uh, That's right. I guess there were no ringing rounds of applause, but as you said, some things did happen. Uh. Yeah, absolutely. And I think every country, when the leaders, global leaders agreed the global goals mm -hmm. in 2000, they knew that not every goal was going mm -hmm. to be achieved. Mm -hmm. Nobody was expecting that mm -hmm. and so on. Did and anyone the, get a shining record card? I well, mean, could you... uh, I mean, you know, globally though, mm -hmm. human, Human beings have made more progress in reducing poverty over the last 15 years mm -hmm. than we have made throughout history, okay. which is a phenomenal, mm -hmm. you know, f phenomenal fact, actually, mm -hmm. because, and of course, the major reason for that was the rise of China, yes. the changing demographics worldwide, and so on. Mm -hmm. So we have made huge progress globally mm -hmm. on reducing poverty, mm -hmm. on improving things like So when you bring in China, so I mean you know, you're changing the lives of hundreds of millions of people in one country alone. Absolutely. Most countries have achieved at least one or two of okay. the goals. Mm -hmm. In Papua New Guinea's case, we haven't, but there is progress to build on. And of course, the new Sustainable Development Goals, mm -hmm. we'll come to which that came in yes, yeah, into yeah. place from last yeah. year, mm -hmm. will continue the process of you know, building on the Millennium Development yeah. Goals and achieving more and faster. Okay, you've re so Millennium Development Goals was to be achieved by 2015, we're past. So we move now to the Sustainable Development Goals. I mean, um, 17 of them, I understand. Uh, uh, highlight some of the main ones uh, for us. There's been a whole series of consultations with the public in different countries and so on, including in Papua New Guinea. There's a book that the United Nations produced with a lot of support from civil society called The World We Want. Mm -hmm. And that was really asking global citizens, what, is, what, are the, what, sh, what do you want to, mm -hmm. what, what are the priorities you would like to see? Mm -hmm. And the things that came up top in that were better education, yep. better health care, mm -hmm. good governance, reducing corruption, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Shelter? Yep. Shelter mm -hmm. was another one. Mm -hmm. So there are a set of things that came out. We are in this first phase of the SDGs, and one of the things we need to do this year is countries and governments need to start to prioritize, because clearly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't do 17 things at once. Yes. And one of the big lessons from the MDGs was the fact that governments alone cannot mm -hmm. achieve. As you say, government won't be able to do this on their own, and they'll be foolish to even assume so, but if they consult and they work properly with government, uh, with, with business, we can achieve some of this. How, how do you see business getting involved? Uh, I mean, you look at these 17 goals, and I won't go through all no. of those, but you know, for example, goals around poverty reduction, around improving water and sanitation. Mm -hmm. You look at a country like Papua New Guinea, probably over 50% of our schools have no running water. They have probably one toilet for boys, one toilet for girls, mm -hmm. catering for large numbers of students. Now in that situation, of course, you're not going to get very many students, particularly girls, going to schools at particular ages mm -hmm. because, you know, if you have one toilet, I mean, it's not great. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are opportunities here 
for businesses to get involved in what are the big challenges facing human beings over the next period. You know, governments alone and our political leaders alone cannot achieve this. It needs a whole of society push. Agreed. Together, we can achieve better results for the country and for the world. An example of that, you know, the way in which businesses are starting to really engage with this, SAB Miller, which is the largest uh, drinks manufacturer in South Africa, mm -hmm. look at the way in which they have restructured their business to try and use water much more wisely and also generate better quality water for communities around them. If you look at the, the experience of TNT, which is a global business, okay, uh, helping with uh, m shifting goods and services and so on. The things that TNT are now doing is engaging much more on uh, helping with disaster risk reduction, humanitarian response, helping to move supplies much quicker and so on. Mm -hmm. So there are tremendous opportunities across the 17 goals mm -hmm. for businesses, not just the big businesses, also for small medium enterprises to change the business model, to tweak it, and to change some things that can help us not only to deal with the problems of today, but also problems that we can already foresee for the next Which decade. Which are going to impact the business as well. I think that there are incredible opportunities here. Opportunities for governments to reach out and build better links with businesses, mm -hmm. and also for businesses to start to reach out to government. And I think from the United Nations perspective, we would love we would love to partner with businesses and try some things out. Mm -hmm. And the more we can begin to do that in Papua New Guinea, I think we can show that by 2030, we will have a very different scorecard mm -hmm. than we have okay. in 2015. Excellent. David. Like the challenge and uh, look forward to working with yeah, you on no, it. Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks, David.